Doki. Okay, I look bald, but I'm not. So, okay, I'm gonna start off on my eyebrows, and I'm gonna try to use products that I don't use on, like that I don't ever use, just to switch it up. And so then when I do like my everyday makeup routine, you're not like, wow, you're using everything you just used. So, um, me. So I'm gonna be setting things on my bed, and I'm sorry. I'm just going with my um, Benefit Precisely my brow pencil in the shade three, which is hecka light but it's fine i don't know how to adjust this chair to go up either so we're gonna sit on my heel um but yeah so it's currently friday the 21st i believe and so i've been in college for a month and one day you know, everything's going great. My roommate just left for the weekend. How fake of her, but she's going to visit her boyfriend. And then my parents are actually coming today, but not till like 2 in the morning. So really, I have nothing to do all day. So I'm going to try to grind out some videos this weekend. Because like obviously, like I'll be with my parents, but it's not like they're going to stay in my room. So I'll be able to film at night and stuff. I put a mirror behind my phone, so if I keep looking, like, past you, um, I'm sorry. Oh my god, is this not even recording? Hello? No. Okay. I'm going with my Cabral in the shade 4. Um, wow, this video is already all over the place. <clears throat> Yikes. Um, <coughs> just to fill in my brows? I don't know. Okay, so how I got these peers, the first one, it's still in there, the diamond just fell off because I never changed the earrings from like when I got it pierced. And the second one, I don't know if you guys can see this, but like there's a stud on there, like there's a diamond on there. I changed this earring and it literally like went over, like my skin went over the earring and it's been like that for like a couple weeks now and it just, like it doesn't hurt like if I don't, like sometimes like I push on it and it still doesn't really hurt then like it doesn't really bother me but I'm starting to freak out because I thought like it was kind of just gonna go away and it's not and everyone keeps telling me they're like Jeremy you need to go to a tattoo shop or like you know a piercing place and like get that checked out but like I feel like that's gonna hurt more than just having an earring inside my ear um have this has happened to anybody please let me know because I'm struggling I hope you guys can't see. I'm sitting with like my knees like <laughs> up here. Using is the Big Daddy Morphe 39A. I know I used this in my last tutorial, but it's just there's so many shades in here. Like, and also they brought it back, so I feel as it's okay to use. Like, you can use this all year round. Let's be honest. The next tutorial I film, I promise I will not use this palette. Hopefully I remember that. Um, but yeah, this is the palette that I'm going to be using today. Also, I stabbed myself in the eye the other day with a blending brush as I was practicing this look. And my eye got super, super irritated. So I was afraid I was going to get pink eye. So I bought, I bought eye drops and I've just been like religiously like putting them in my eyes. Because and, like they feel a little bit better. So i think i'm fine but yeah i'm gonna take this just this dome brush and i don't know it's honestly rubbed off and i'm gonna pick up this shade like i'm gonna mix these two and i'm basically just gonna use this as a transition i'm gonna slap it all over my eye it doesn't i don't know if i should that's good yeah just like this literally and no there's no right or wrong way for this i'm literally just putting it all over my eye Morphe M4, M514. Make sure you can see this because last time I filmed a tutorial with this, I realized you could not see the shades that I was pointing at. Um, but I'm going to pick up this green. It's a nice olive green. I don't know. It's, I'm bad at describing things. It's a green, you know, fall. <laughs> and I'm going to start by working this in the outer half of my eye, blending inwards just like I do all the time. 
Um, I keep my eye looks rounded, as I've said many, many times, just because that's what looks best on my eye. But obviously, I think this would, this... So your girl's super, super illiterate and can't say specifically at the tip of her tongue. So this is me struggling to say specifically. This this is specific I this specific this this particular eye look I think would look really good like um winged out a little bit but that just does not look good on me which is really upsetting but you gotta live with what you got you know what I mean and the dome brush that I used just to kind of feather out the edges with the brown shade. I hate that my dorm, is, my room is like right across from the bathroom because it constantly sounds like people are like right outside my door. And like obviously they could hear me talking to myself, so... Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, Glamour Dolls domed type of brush. And I'm going to go into this darker green right here. It's literally just like a shade darker than uh, the green that we used previously. I'm going to literally do the exact same thing I just did. Just not bring it as high. Yo, my name is Nicholas, and this is Ridiculous, got mad gummy money, and it is deliciousness. If you're watching this right now, and you are a true subscriber, comment on your favorite vine down below right now. Just close the eyes, little vines. That vine that I just said in, like, the, um, road work I had, absolute favorite vines in the entire world, and now I'm going to stop talking because I can't do this while I talk inner part of the cut crease I'm just gonna set with some powder and then I'm not gonna like set it out here because we're gonna put some more shadow there so I'm just gonna kind of pat it but I'm not putting any other shadow up here so basically you think you could just use like a white or um, a bone bone based shadow And then a little bit with the lighter green, I'm going to go like halfway. Pick up these two shades. I really just tried tapping off my finger. Okay, Dorema. And I'm going to put that in between um, where like the matte and the green shades mix. So like right here. Just for kind of like a, like a pop of something since the eye is so matte. Where am I supposed to put this? Oh, this looks even better than when I did it the other day. I love when that happened. That sounded like sarcasm, but like it wasn't. Okay, and then I'm going in with this Rebellion Eye Art in Twinkling Topaz, I believe. Topaz Twinkle. I was close. And I'm just going to take the glitter side, and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand a little bit. I, um, But yeah, it just has like a green reflex and like a gold reflex, and yeah. So I'm just going to pick it up on the brush, and I'm going to tap it over the green shade. Because like I didn't want it to be like, wow, glitter. Like I wanted it as like... Oh, like, there's glitter. I didn't want it to be the main attraction. That's what we were going for. Um, so me and my roommate just started watching American Horror Story. Well, she's already watched it, but, like, basically she's re-watching it for me. Shout out to her. And holy heck, it is so good. We watched season one, season three, and then the circus season. I'm just picking up a little more of the glitter and I'm literally like okay first of all like I, ha I have like a love-hate relationship with the show like because everybody I love dies all the time and I'm just like 
And also, it's really confusing because, like, if you don't watch American Horror Story, which I feel like a lot of people do, I just never did. Like, I always wanted to. Anyways, but they use the same people. Every season is different. Like, there's little things that, like, add up, but, like, every season is completely different. New characters, new, you know, backgrounds, everything. And they use the same character, so, like, it's kind of confusing because you're like, wait a minute, like, this person is this person. Like, you connect them with certain characters, and you're just like, okay, like, I've seen, like, we watched three seasons, so I've seen the same actors be three different people, and I'm just like, wait a minute, and, like, but other than that, I really like this show. All right, I attempted to do the eyeliner on camera, and it was just not going. It was completely getting out of focus, so I just did a black, like, thinner to thicker, and then did, like, a thin white line of a liner. I hate this NYX liner because it's so cracky like I don't know if you guys can see but like it's really really frustrating if you got like I need to find a good white liner but yeah I just did the pop of white because I feel like it kind of just pulled it all together um so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then I will come back my pure 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 lashes in diva that's what they look like these are my favorite dramatic lashes I literally wear these 24 7 like i got lily my lily my lash lily lashes in miami and i have yet to use them because i'm kind of scared that like they're gonna replace these these are only, like 14 dollars i believe and i love them um so yeah this eye gave me a kick in the butt it was this liner is just a hot mess okay so i'm gonna use two um first i'm gonna use the smashbox photo finish radiance primer just to get a glow to my face because i'm using a matte primer on top because your girl has heck of pores i don't know um i really literally can't even see me applying this primer it somewhat looks radiant I need a mirror. I need to get my life together. I see, like, well, I didn't blend half of it in, but, yeah, no, that definitely gave me, like, a nice glow. I like that. Okay. Sorry, I put gum in, and now I, like, I'm talking. Anyways, and then I'm gonna go in with the Professional Matte Rescue Primer. If I could open it. Okay. But, yeah, like... Your girl's oily, so I'm just gonna put this in my T zone area. It feels nice. It kind of feels. It feels a little bit cool, cooling, which I like. I'm not mad at it. I'm not gonna lie, like it feels really nice. I mix. I mean, they're the same foundation, just different shades. This, it's the. Maybelline 24 hour foundation and this is in the shade 120 and this is in the shade 102 this is too dark this is too light um so I'm just gonna mix them and if it's too dark that's why we have a turtleneck on because then you can't even see so really I could just use this but um I'm gonna try the color match a little bit so I'm gonna do a, like a pump and a half of the dark darker shade and then like a good pump of the lighter shade um, this is why you shouldn't let my dad help me pick this one. I was like, oh, dad, does this look like you? It matches, and he was like, yes. And I got home, and it literally looked like I put white paper on my face. So, um, don't ask your father for makeup advice. And I just mix it on my sponge, and I'm going to stamp it on my face. Wow. It has definitely full coverage so I've actually yet to like give this foundation like a true try because I you know I had a shade that was too dark and then I had a shade that was too light so I was kind of just like eh. and then I don't actually ever wear foundation so I'm really just wearing foundation for this video um I can't tell I think it looks fine I hope it looks fine I'm even going to use powders that I don't normally use. Like, I'm dedicated to not make, like, I have the 
motivation to make sure that this isn't a repetitive tutorial. Okay, that's good. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer because um, it's still the, all my other ones are going to be like too light, I think. So, actually this looks like it's going to be mm, the exact skin tone. I want to try the new Too Faced um, concealer so bad, the sculpting one. I just know I would love it. Like, I love Too Faced skin products. And also, their Tutti Frutti collection, because they came out with a pineapple palette. And I I need it in my life. Like, powder. I'm going to use the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. I have not used this in the longest time. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I didn't even know I still had this powder. Um, but I'm trying to use different things. And so, at one point in time, I did really like this because I repurchased it. I think this is, like, my second or third one of it. And, like, they redid the packaging of it again. Like, they, it used to have little, like, finely milled glitters in it. And then they took the glitters out and then they redid it again. Or they at least changed the packaging. So, this is, like, the older packaging. But, I just set these under eyes. It kind of, like... I feel like it took some of the coverage away. No? Okay. It's Airspun. I haven't used Airspun in forever. Literally in so long. Um, I just, I just got stuck on my Maybelline powder and I'm just gonna bounce it in with um, my sponge because that's just like the way I love to apply everything because then I feel like it pushes everything into the skin the best and gives you that really flawless finish and also if you do have oily skin I feel like um because I don't ever bake like I just pick up a bunch of product and then push it into the skin so that kind of helps to mattify me Ooh, my nose is not look at that hot like, it doesn't look bad, it just looks like a lot of product on there, which she's not used to that. Over everything I just set with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Creamy Natural, um, just because I don't remember if this powder gives flashback or not, and I know if you set your face with a colored powder that it should prevent flashback, so... Fingers crossed. I'm gonna take a little bit under the eyes too, cause that elf powder is white. This is an OG. If you've been, if you watched like my very first makeup tutorials, like there's even some that I deleted. Um, but I used to use this all the time, but I haven't used it in forever. So I'm gonna go in with this bad boy, and I'm gonna mix Hula and Hula Light. Um, mostly Hula Light and just like a little bit of Hula because. I'm more of a hula light than I am a hula, so. And I'm just gonna sculpt out these cheekbones. Somebody's singing in the hallway right now. I kind of hope you guys can't hear it because that was pretty funny. This is my Morphe N9 palette, and I think I'm going to take this shade on my Sigma F30. And I'm going to tap off a lot of the excess because I didn't really want a shimmery blush, but... I tried this out. Go to Ulta. Order it on Morphe. Try it. I just love the way it sprays. I've seen as a mirror this entire time. Just because of the gold and like the glitter, this um, it's gonna also help pull that out. And honestly, I just forgot how beautiful this was because I get really into mixing highlights just because I wanna make sure I use them all. But I've been using this one on its own and it's just, it's so beautiful. Like they really just nailed it with this highlight. Like, I didn't even wet my brush at all. Like, I set my face, obviously, but it's it wasn't even, I wouldn't even say it was tacky. Oh, we gotta set our brows. Oh, girl, what are you doing?
People always highlight their chin. I've never done that, so we're gonna try it. Ew, I don't like it. No. What the heck? I always see people highlighting their chin. That is not a cute look. Not for me, anyways. That's a a no go. Use my Essence Make Me Brow. It is a dupe for the um, Gimme Brow by Benefit. They're, they just do not have good shades. Like, all of the shades are super cool tone, which is okay for me because I have ashy toned eyebrows. But if you have warm toned eyebrows, I definitely uh, would stray away from this. Like, it can get pretty gray pretty fast. Like, they have, I think, yeah, this is the second shade, and like, it's pretty dark. And then there's a blonde one, and then there's one darker than this. So, I would just. Be aware if you do want to try this out. Okay, so I used this lipstick for the first time ever the other day, and I wanted this lipstick for so long, and I finally bought it, and then I never even used it, and then I used it the other day, and I was like, holy crap, this is the most beautiful lipstick I have ever seen, and I just don't know if it's going to go with this look, but like, I love it, so we're going to try it. This is Ashton by ABH. It definitely does not go with this look. Like, it doesn't look bad. Hold on. I just feel, like, really Christmassy, and it's supposed to be fall. Huda Beauty Wifey. This is a more paler nude, so I'm going to put this on top. Okay, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. I love these eyes. Like, these are so cute to me. Um, I love the lip. Not so much with this eye, but I just didn't want to take it off. I still kind of want to plan on doing the like classic go-to fall smoky eye just because like I feel like every YouTube channel needs that um probably not but I hope you guys enjoy this please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down your f comment down below your favorite vine do it um yeah thank you guys so much for watching <laughs>